Hi everyone, welcome to my paint over session. This time we're going to be doing backgrounds. And these are from my students here, three of them. And uh, I'm just fixing the composition to help make it a little more interesting for everybody to look at. So here's the desert waterfall and oasis center. First thing I'm going to do is try to make this uh, waterfall. It actually looks like a fountain coming from the bottom of the water but uh, it's actually supposed to be coming from here this thing however looks like a very distant desert and it's not really up close so what we're gonna do is bring it closer I'm just gonna select it all as much as I can with my magic wand oops that's a little too much tolerance yeah so I got that just take what I want. Oops, what's that? Subtract this, subtract that. I'm gonna duplicate this layer and I'm gonna make it darker. So to bring it closer to my mid-tone. Sorry, to my mid-ground. Oops, I missed the selection. Oh, matter I'll just paint over that. Okay, so that helps bring it closer to us. Let me just duplicate this so I don't mess up the original artwork. BG background. And I can make this go a little further back for some of the places that are more distant. I can add a further background so that this thing kind of serves as a, uh, a for a mid-ground element. And this thing I'm painting now serves as a background element. So here, yep, there we go. So this, I'm essentially trying to bring this closer. And in fact, I could probably do that even better by duplicating this again. And perhaps taking out another set here by darkening this closer and then carving out additional planes. I can mask that. Yep, and here. Uh -huh. That looks kind of rough. Okay, so that helps bring this thing closer. So it doesn't look like a fountain coming up from the ground, but rather a waterfall. I'm going to merge that together, do a bit of painting on the waterfall to get it right. For now, I'll just put a really big uh, splush. Splush, splush. It's a bit straight, so we'll have to make it go with, go with the movement of the... mound that it's on. I'm going to try to make it shrink as it goes further away. Yeah, well, it would be more interesting if we had a sexier shape. But, uh-huh. Something is not right with that sexy shape. Oop, there, 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 there. Let's split it here. And maybe add another one there. Yes. Okay, so that that appears to be some sort of river though, not some sort of waterfall. So we're gonna try to fix that with the trees. We're gonna make a new layer and we're gonna make this bunch of trees a little more interesting. I'll just connect the trees into the sky and also over this wellness center. There's a couple of beach chairs there. So I'm just gonna continue doing that and put it up here so everybody can figure out. Yeah, we could probably have some trees going up there. Okay, that'll be a car. Okay, so there we have some leaves. This should take a short time. But to give everybody the idea that it's coming from not so far away. So that gives a sense of depth. We'll add a few more uh, branches and stems and stems. Those are trunks. Trunks. We're tired of, of the lack of stuff over here, so we're going to try to add a few more details to make it interesting. This interesting chunk of 
wet grass. So uh, let's take a simple grass brush, just a simple hair brush, and paint it in. Uh, cut a few places. Cut a few places. Okay, so we have some grass. Perhaps the occasional bush. Bush, bush, bush. Okay, now, since this is supposed to be a wellness center, we're gonna create some sort of horizontal patterns to give you a very restive feeling. So I'm gonna cut into these things. Yeah, to give you the restive feeling, we have to use horizontal shapes. Horizontal shapes. Add a couple of mounds. Couple of mounds. Push that down. Let's put it a little more pleasant looking uh, shoreline. So as to give a feeling of wellness. Yep. Okay. Is this kind of blocky? So let's pull that out. Let's pull this in. Let's get some of this color and put it there. Um, we we'll give a little more interest to these things by changing the color to something else. Of course a couple of people there would be nice. But for now I won't be putting the people in. I know it's important, but I won't put any people that will take a longer time. So here we go. I've added now a more pleasant looking shape. This is the before, it's just a big letter U. And made it a little more like an O. Next we'll have to fix the clouds, because they look like artificial, placed in really predefined places, so we have to fix that. Let's put them so that they're going towards the wellness center. So I'm just going to add some of that, and then under that, the dark. Light. Dark. Light. Dark. My pen is making noise. Light. Oops. Not light enough. Dark. This will help point our eyes to the wellness center. Rather than having a sideways appearance, we can have people look towards the wellness center. I'm going to use one of my interesting brushes to do most of the work for me. This is taking a long time, and I've still got two more artworks to do. Okay, so there. I have the clothes point. There. So I'll do a little bit of that here. Okay, so now we got that. And we can add a bit of light since this is a desert. Um, and some haze. Get some of that. Get a screen brush. Uh, those birds, perhaps. Could add a few more, or you could break them apart from each other. Yeah. Okay. And then let's add some of the blue into the water. Mm -hmm. Anything else can we do? Or what else can we do? Let's uh, light up the bottom. Add more foliage elsewhere to give the impression it stays within this secluded, framed up place. So it doesn't look so empty. I'm just going to indicate people in 
maybe bathrobes, 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 bathrobes. Somebody's at the door. Okay, so there we have people on um, walking around. Let's check. Okay, bring it to life. Some of these stones are kind of in the way, but we'll leave that for now. Maybe I have more time. This thing is a uh, what's this? An aquarium? No. This is actually an underwater junkyard apartment. That's right. It's meant for fish. So with this single urn there doing nothing, really it's kind of sad. It doesn't feel like an apartment until we put some stuff. So, so perhaps to add a little more interest, we're going to take one of those urns and put it in the background. We're going to change its hue to give it a bit of color. Yeah. Let's mask up what we don't need. Let's see what I'm doing, so I lower the opacity. Bring it back. Get it to darken and lighten. Oops. Perhaps lighten, but inside it has to be a bit darker. We're not gonna try to make it exactly like the other one, we just just make it a little different from the other urn. Okay, so let's add a few changes here so it doesn't exactly look the same. Put the sharpness here and there. And poke a few holes. And so that it doesn't all look so the same. Try to point it elsewhere. Okay, whatever. Okay, these fishes are probably better off somewhere else. Now that I've made that such a big urn. I'm gonna duplicate that layer and put them in somewhere else. And I'm gonna duplicate my background so I have a copy that doesn't mess up the original. Let these fish perhaps change the orientation so that they point towards the entire building. Building meaning apartment meaning this urn. Let's add some texture. Let's add some shadow. Here's the initial urn, which will probably add a summer shadow as well. I'd probably get another one of those. So let's get another one. Let's see, flip it. And we'll put it behind the other two, but smaller. So we have like big, medium, and small urns. Let's bring it up this. I change the color. Something pleasant. There, there. Not so bad. Maybe we'll just make it yellow. That's enough. Yeah. Okay, so I'll lower the opacity so I can see what I'm doing. Create a layer mask. Okay, let's just select this thing to be nice. Oh, cool. I can bring it back. There we go. Now we'll change the brokenness of it so it looks a bit different. And then let's break, break. Let's uh, knock that off. Knock this off. And there. Okay, so this one doesn't really look like junk just yet. We'll probably have to add other stuff. The mask this stuff out. Right. 
that's some light with the dodge tool probably do the same here you can also add a bit more direction with this by doing the same here and doing the same here okay so our fishes you probably give them more depth but put them in a little darkness there for now since the style is really flat and you know very very clean oops very clean we're gonna leave it like that just get these little critters perhaps add some shading on the bottom and then oops I got the wrong side Get them shaded. Oops, too much. Okay, now let's add some seaweed. I'll light it up later. So it doesn't look like an aquarium anymore. I'll set this to darken. Oops, let's just need to work on this one. There we go. Okay, so let's add a bit of light. And it might look like a bit like junk now. I don't know. Maybe a couple of cans here or there. So let's do a couple of uh, odd shapes. Too bright. Okay, then we add some bubbles. Just to tell everyone there's stuff inside. Get my bubble brush. And bubbles. 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 We could add additional fish inside. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's get some of those fish dark down. And probably this one, dark and this one. I'll probably add something on top of him. And this one, probably add some shadow below him. And then this one, full thing. Except for the front part. Okay, then, uh, we would probably need to add some bigger fish. Because all of them small fish. Well, it's cute. But if you want to make it look like a big, city where a lot of fish go to yeah I have to do add a few more fish that are different let's give it this color here and set it to multiply oops and multiply multiply fade no, I'm not referencing any fish at all when I'm doing this, so I don't know if that is any particular kind of fish. Suffice to say, I'm just using a very limited imagination. Shrink the fish. Uh, more color rather than...
This helps add more depth. Okay, so that's my underwater junkyard apartment. Here is a post slumber party at a Ryokan, a Japanese inn. So, first and foremost, I'm going to duplicate this on another layer. This is just too small. Then, I'm going to give it a border. Uh, oops, can't give it a border. Not yet. Okay, now we're going to make it appear a little more solid because it's kind of flat. And at the same time, I'm going to give it some light by putting shadow. This is my heart light layer, it will serve as my shadows, and I will need another layer to serve as um, overall tone of mood. Yeah, tone of mood, what does that sound? Okay, so here's my heart light. Here is my color. There is my heart light over my color. And I can use a mask. To create light. But since it apparently appears to be day, or at least maybe just breaking day, I can create that effect. I mean, they just finished their slumber party, so everything is still rather early, maybe in the morning. So I'm gonna add the uh, necessary shadows and stuff. Oops, did I go outside? Okay, let's add some shadow here. Let's a really quick shadow there. Let's take this off. It's too bright. Eh. And another shadow here. So I get a little bit of this. I guess it's all there. We need to add the light instead. Light. Too bright. Light, light, light. Okay. Light. Okay. Okay. Add some light here. And basically, we just take out uh, the flatness of the whole picture by adding a couple of layers. This is kind of flat and bright. We also change the time of day. Oh, this is a big slumber party. Ooh. Bad. So just where they hung a big red curtain for some reason. All right, that's basically it. So uh, I'm just going to wrap up, and I thank you for watching. This has been Joa Chua, just painting away stuff painting over the works of some of my students. Hopefully you learned something. And please tune in again for other stuff here on my channel or perhaps on my Facebook feed. So, bye bye.